Three, what's good, man? What's the word, man? What's the word, sir? I mean, before we get into what I want to talk to you about, sir, do you want to tell your fan base what you've been barking on me about <laughs> behind the scenes, sir? Yeah, you be wildin', out of man. You be wildin', man. I be, you know, I watch everything, but you know, I don't complain about. It. I let, I let the bloggers and shit. Y'all do y'all thing. Y'all got child opinions and shit. Okay. But when I see like contradictions and hypocrisy, I'm like, hold on, man. You know, I'm a, you know, what I'm saying, I'm, a, I'm gonna hit your phone about it. I ain't gonna make it a, you feel me, a public display. But come on, three. You okay, what did I say? That was out of pocket. Nah, it ain't it ain't what you said. It just it just the energy change for me. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like I seen I seen like headlines and shit where it was like, yo, three letter man goes in on John John versus J Mills and ah, ah, ah. I ain't even I ain't even watch it. I just seen the headline, but I right. probably, I could guess what you're saying, you right? You right. Know, probably wanna see dirty, J Mills. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Yeah, like man. why like you basically nobody wanna see J Mills, why I book that and shit like that. But but I gotta say this though. Um about that, right? You my man. We fuck with each other. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Fuck with me, right? You know what I'm saying? And if I'm out of pocket, like, you always we, we always we got a relationship like that. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, you right? know what I'm saying? And yeah. it ain't you never gave me no energy to where like you wanted to see me lose in life mm -hmm. or uh, overall, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is what you gotta realize, right? Talk to me. Me and Jay Mills is booked. It's happening. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So when so you, you get online and saying nobody wants to see that, even though that's how you feel, right? Putting that energy out there is like counter promoting the event. Okay, 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 okay. I got you. 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 So especially when you hold Harley, nobody want to see that. Why you booked that? I'm gonna it's watch already... it in the recap, anyways. I don't know how to respect me. Yeah, it's, it's already. <laughs> I'm gonna order the Mecca card, baby. I'm gonna order support the card. For that. Nah, nah, yeah, I already know. That's why I ain't really tripping yeah. too much. But uh -huh. I just that's just something to take into consideration. You right. Know what I mean, like because uh -huh. it's still like a shot at the business in a way. And I know you don't mean it that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I know you don't mean it that way, mm -hmm. but perception is everything. So when I see certain things, like mm -hmm. even Vada, Vada did a whole blog about me and Jay Mills, and he just he just, he just, just stuck on that, on that one battle that you don't want to see. And I'm telling Vada, like, that's cool. You can have your opinion on that battle, but it's a whole card, bro. Like, mm -hmm. you letting what you don't want to see overshadow shit that you want to see. So okay. what about e Hard and Rizzy? That's fire. I what about that. Bonnie and Lady Caution? I want to see fire. that. You know what I'm saying? Even Cortez and Philly Hayes mean mm -hmm. something. It's like, we're going, we going to that. Like, don't overshadow off of one battle. You know what I mean? Because I already predicted the energy, what it was going to be like when people see John John battle and Jay Mills. I, I knew. But don't let that just be the focus here. You know what I'm saying? That's just to bring attention to the card, at least. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And, but yeah, okay. but then I turn around and see you do a blog and you do the recap of the three on three, and you say Hamzel, me and Hamzel, me and Hamzel will be. A, you want to see me and Hamzel after saying you wasn't impressed with his performance, and then you say I'd rather see him and John John. I'm like, come on, only because of the tension. I I, I know you got it at me. Back in 2016, about Jack Boy, when I wanted Jack Boy to get the battle, Jack Boy finally gets you, and then. We saw the outcome of that. The intention don't mean it's competition. I let saw you, niggas, Mr. Wavy, nice, prep, prep, Mr. Wavy, you know. Yeah, because niggas, like, because I feel like this, right? When you look at me and Jay Mills, people be like, I, um, you know, John John cherry picking his fights. You want an easy win. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You want to, mm -hmm. that's cool. But you think this nigga won't be an easy win? <laughs> this nigga be an easy win, too. Like, it's the same thing. I think he put a I think he put a bigger fight than Jay Mills. Can I say that? A, a bigger fight? A better fight, a better fight than Jay Mills. No, man. Like I, I I don't get it. Like what you mean? Like who gonna get thirty the worst? A thirty oh, okay. is a thirty. <laughs> you know what? A thirty is a thirty. Like I don't I don't get that. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know who's gonna do better. Oh, man. I don't know who's gonna look better at losing out of them two. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Which, well, all right, let me ask you a question. If you got a call for Hansel, what would be the motivation for you to battle him? Obviously, the bread would have to be right, obviously, right? But yeah. would there be motivation at all? Or is it just like, I've done this so many times. Y'all giving me young boys that's wet behind the ears. They might not be ready yet. And you and DNA, PG Killers, and the young boy, how y'all handle young niggas for your career? I'm going to be honest. I don't foresee me getting a call for any of them niggas no time soon. But, um, where I'm at right now mentally, I, I'm just I'm just ready to rap, man. I'm outside. Like my motivation is within. 
it ain't it ain't really about who's in front of me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it, like I know what it, what it means when John John is on the stage. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that's just where it's at. Like a lot of people letting the let the surf battle overshadow everything that I've done. Niggas will look at niggas is quick to bring up. Oh, you lost the surf, especially battle rappers, which is weird. It's like y'all niggas will bring up me losing the surf. Y'all couldn't beat that nigga. <laughs> like. Like, what are you talking about? Like, and it's only battlers that never battle the surf. They got something to say. You know what I mean? I think, like, you know what I think, John, about the surf battle? I think, and I don't know how you feel about this. I think there were some people who had you, who thought you were going to be um, surf. No, I was up in the prediction poll. Yeah, a lot right, of people right. that thought I was going to win. That's not what it's about. I'm just saying as far as the outcome of the battle, right? Because okay. even when you look at why people thought I was going to beat surf, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, Surf ain't been coming with three rounds. Surf bullshitting. Surf, it was everything else. It was like all the other intangibles. Now you get a surf with three rounds. It's like, oh, shit. Ah, John, John, you lost the surf with three rounds and then ignore the fact this nigga went on a five-win battle streak. Like, it's like, but it's like, you niggas, though? <laughs> like, y'all would never be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? My body count is still higher than all of you niggas shit. It Your win lost resume, my nigga. Yeah. I done had more three zero chance than all you niggas. More leave them alone chance. I done, I done disappeared more niggas than. So it's just like a lot of shit that niggas are saying. It just sounds good, but it's just like with this Hanzo nigga. It was all funny games when the nigga went on a forty eight hour tirade, talk about John John and DNA doing all of this, putting a whole spotlight on him for him to finally get his caffeine look, finally get. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like a live stream against top tiers, mm-hmm. and you drop the dope. You're very forgettable. It's like so. Why he did be on red though? On red beat itself, man. Okay, I, 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 on red beat itself. You can't do that, John. Don't don't, don't be a man like that though. For him to I get a win against on red though. I, honestly, honestly, right? But on red's round, uh-huh. who would he have beat that night? Nobody. So we giving credit to a nigga. That beat a nigga that nobody would have beat that night. But you want to give a credit to a nigga that beat a nigga that everybody would have beat that night. But you want to make fun of me losing to a nigga that had performance of the year. Not it's that ass backwards. Night. It's ass backwards, right? It's, backwards. it's like, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's just like he just, he just, he just. That's what I mean. Like he just did all the wrong shit with the with the hands on nigga, and I'm only like laughing at him now because you was talking crazy and look you ain't did nothing like you you don't push yourself further away from this battle than <laughs> than then closer to it and it all started just because i said i would take you on summer madness had you played your cards right we could have been having a different conversation mm. but instead you want to make it seem like i'm the worst battle rapper in the world we're yeah. not doing the answer answer we're not doing the answer uh, Hansel, you my young boy but we're not doing that we're not doing that think is bugged out no nah, you can't do that you can't do that um are you working on Clone and Chef Tracer? Come on, man. Hey, you looked at the fan. I saw that tweet that Clone put up. Hey, Clone, we know when this battle's going to happen at, bro. We're not doing that, Clone. I want you not to come through Clone. Hey, why, would you, hey, why would you put that on? What league y'all want to see this? Yeah. Like, oh, damn well. Where else you going to see? Like, if it ain't spit that, he spit that, he ain't that active right now. But if it ain't spit that, he you got to be on the pen. Got to be on the pen, my dude. Got to. John. Is there a king of the south in battle rap? Yeah. You? <laughs> <sighs> no, but I'm saying for the young boys, like, cause all right, Ease said on the, on the when he battled, I believe mean, he even Austin was going back and forth, and he said, "Don't compare me to the Carolina niggas," and then he said, "I'm the real king of the south." So I went on Twitter like, "Oh, Ease, you ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Who's the king of the south?" A lot of the brothers told me, slow that down, three. We're trying to be unified. We're not doing that King of the South thing. Now, you're very close to a lot of the South battle rappers. I'll give you that. Super Black to these guys of the world, right? Mm-hmm. Is there a King of the South? Or is it like they're trying to unify because the hip-hop is South for hip-hop, but in battle rap, maybe not so much? Let me say this. Is it a King of New York in battle rap? No, I don't believe there is. No, you're absolutely right. No, no. Is there a king of Midwest in battle rap? There's been discussions, you know that. I mean, of course, there's been but, discussions, but is there a king? No, there's no king. 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 There's technically no kings in no regions of battle rap. Okay. Okay. 
technically. You but, shut that down real fast. <laughs> yes, but but the South does have to unify at least to be like considered like a movement in battle rap, like because there's there's always been the South there, but I feel like niggas was too busy at a lot like um, competing with each other. Like even now, even with E saying he the king uh, uh, of the South, it's like it's cool to feel that way, but. That's the problem with you new niggas. Y'all not being realistic here. Like, East, what have you done to be king of the South? Top six? You, 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 like, you know what I mean? I'm just being realistic. You fire. Can you potentially be the king of the South? Yeah, of course. Sure. You his vocal projection. I like go. his vocal projection a lot. But okay. Yeah, you got a long way to go. You know mm. what I mean? I think that, yeah. that, just, that just, he was just building a battle, man. He just wanted, you know, build a battle for him and Swamp and all of that. But you know what I mean? But... Um, yeah, the king of the south. I mean, if there if there was a king, he's from New York, man. I don't think a lot of South brothers want to hear a young cause they the they the king of the south, though, so respectfully. Man, I, I get it, I get it, but like we talking we talking about facts or feelings. Mm. What are we what are we talking about? Like I, I started battling in the I've been battling in the south longer than all of these niggas been battling. That is true though. That is true. You know what I mean? I literally laid the groundwork. I re really started from the first battle rap division in the South on grind time. That's where I started at, the first one. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the one that, from that point on, went head there, even touched other platforms in the South. I went to spit that heat battle T-top. That became the most views on that platform. Mm. Built my own platform and then built the, the, the biggest, the, you know what I mean? Like, the biggest league in the fucking South here which drew all the other leagues to come to Atlanta too. Now mm. you name somebody else that did that. Shout out to Scotty. I feel like Scotty deserves Scottie. a lot of credit. Shout out Scotty. Shout out Scotty. Yep. I feel like Scotty deserves a lot of credit because he did put in a lot of work, you know what I'm saying, in Houston. And and he held Houston Ball Code. Code. For real. Yeah, Houston Ball Code. Shout out to Houston Ball Code. You know what I mean? Salute to Scotty. You know what I mean? Mm. But other than Scotty, like who else could you say? I don't I, I still don't think, you know, um, you know what I mean? Not to take away from them, but as far as, like, the magnitude of things. And a, and a lot of got to do with, you know, the name I built for myself, of course, which which led me to, you know, more resources and everything. Mm -hmm. But the magnitude of what I've done for the South as a battle rapper, niggas would try to discredit that just because I was born in New York. But technically, I lived in the South longer than I lived in New York. I'm just very tapped in where I'm from. Y'all yeah. just get to move from where y'all from, and niggas don't remember y'all. That don't that don't happen for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, you got easy talk about oh, what block in Philly I'm from, wherever I could afford to live. Niggas won't say that about me and Yonkers. They know exactly where I'm from in Yonkers. They know exactly. Oh, yeah, nah, John John, yeah, he from Slow Bomb, but he a locust nigga, but he did live on Walbert. They're going to tell you all of that. They're going right. to tell you everything. You know what I mean? So so is that's why I can say I'm from Yonkers in Atlanta because niggas see me outside in Atlanta too. I went to a lot of different schools. I lived on the south side. I lived on the west side. I lived on the north side. Mm. I lived, you know what I'm saying? I've been everywhere. So this is why I know a lot of people. So when you talk about the king of south, the battle rap, the reason why that conversation is, is hard to come up because they try so hard to exclude me in that conversation because if you put me there, there's no debate. Yeah, because when, when I ask the question, John, I got Chef Trez, Swamp, T-Top, was the names that they were throwing out when asking that question? Yeah, yeah. I mean, those those is the niggas that you do bring up. You bring up trash. You bring up T top. You bring up swamp because swamp. they are especially swamp. Sw the thing with swamp is he's a great representation of the South. This is a country nigga. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Traz, we know Traz from Atlanta, but Traz not that country. I live in Florida. I live in Florida, and a lot of Southern brothers out here. They love Swamp. They love this nigga. Swamp. Yeah, like Swamp is like he he love this like nigga the, Swamp. I will tell you this, I don't know about the King of the South, but Swamp will be the face of the South. Okay, okay. Because he 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 epitomizes like what a Southern, the southern draw, is. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he eats raccoons. So any nigga that eat raccoons is gonna be like nobody's gonna like he's the face of the South. That's some real Southern country shit. You're, you're a battle rap fan. How do you feel about Swamp and Verb not going down? Do you care about that at all, or do you care about Hell the battle? I care about it. Hell yeah, I care about it. I feel like Summer Madness needs that battle. If y'all lose that battle, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be ugly, man. You're like like you know what I mean. You already they lost it, Verb. They lost it, John. John. 
URL been in a hot seat all oh, year. I mean, we could say that, but it's still possible. It's still possible. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I spoke to Verb, too. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I'm well aware of what's going on, but it ain't over. Niggas just going to have to pick up their feet and, and, you know what I mean, and make some shit happen. It ain't okay. over. They need that battle, man. Like, All right. So not what Verb. Verb about, man. man. You battled both of these gentlemen and just got announced today. Hitman Holler versus Ill Will, man. Talk to me. That's your brother, Hitman. I know you're not going against Hitman, but talk to me. Nah, I ain't going against Hitman, but it ain't even about going against him. Like, it ain't like if Hitman loses a battle, it's the end of his world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it ain't about going against him. We we competitors at the highest level, and I believe in him that much to where I don't got a handicap. You know what I'm saying? Shit mm -hmm. for him. I don't got to sugarcoat nothing for him. This nigga's one of the greatest. That battle is going to be crazy. And the more I see people counting him out for this, the more I'm leaning towards him. To a hitman? Yes. So you feel people are counting him out? You feel that way? Yes. And 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 I get it, too. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking ill will. Like, it's ill will. You know what I mean? He He's crazy. He's insane. And then a lot of people had hitman losing the battle to easy. So, you know, niggas that go off of that type of shit and try to, do all that it's like the more y'all do that because if y'all know like i know hitman might be the most competitive one of the most competitive niggas ever in this mm. so the more he sees this doubt mm. hitman listen 24 hours this nigga's cooking up man. 24 hours a day he is no matter what he's doing he's in he's in business meetings going over rounds in his head he's at the bowling alley going over rounds in his head like wherever he go he at the mall he at the, mm. He's not about to play with Ill Will, man. That nigga, man, this, that shit crazy. Let me ask you a question. Um, cause like I said, you battle both these gentlemen, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel? Do you feel Hitman gets motivated by hanging around the bags and bodies guys? Can he get motivated by being around lesser talent, but guys gonna come up? You know what I mean? Hell, hell yeah, cause it's not about the talent. You're surrounded by hunger. Okay, so right. Being, okay, being surrounded by hunger is different. You know what I mean? Like. Mm. You know, I, I, I was getting motivated when I was going around the bags and bodies, niggas. You know what I'm saying? I get motivated at bullpen events. I get, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. it, it, of course, it ain't about the talent level. It's just more so about the hunger. It's like you see it in these niggas' eyes, and then you automatically remember how you felt when you was in that place. So it makes mm. you pat back into it, and then, and then it becomes fun again. Now you're not even thinking about the business so much. Now it's more so fun again. And mm. that's the place that I'm in now, mentally. I'm having, I'm about to have fun with this shit. Like, I, like, I've heard you say in a while, sir. I've heard you say that in a while. I know I how to make sure that that shit is good with me. Oh, it ain't right over there. I don't have to, I don't have to take no battles over there. If I feel like it's that serious, guess what? I could book it myself. I like betting on myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't, I haven't lost yet betting on myself. Mm. So it's like, you know what I mean? But it's about the fun. And he definitely got the motivation. And he not only just motivated by them, he's motivated by ill will, too. Mm. Believe that. Where did this John John Reed dollars conversation start, sir? I wake up on Twitter this morning, and I'm seeing K. Walker and a bunch of other dudes from Philly <laughs> talking about it. What's going on? I ain't going to lie. They've been talking about that shit ever since the battle happened. It might have not been as loud as it is now. But there's videos of Gilly online saying, yo, John, John, we want the rematch years ago. There's a lot of people saying it. and I, I could understand why, though. I could understand why he wants a rematch, though. I could. Yeah, yeah, me too. That's why I said I'll be with it. You know what I mean? Like, I was, I was, I was, you know, at the point in time, I was, I was hoping for, or I would rather a classic with Reed Dollars at that time because it's Reed Dollars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's read dollars. It's like, oh bet. If I if I got a classic with this nigga, it's up. People gonna tap back into him. Read dollars back active. It's crazy. So me killing him was like, what the fuck? Like after it happened, I ain't, I wasn't even bragging on it. I was just like, this nigga just wasn't ready. He was way out of his element. This nigga ain't know about the mic and all of this type of shit. Even with the mic, my material was way better than his. But my thing is this. You asking for a rematch because you got better, which is cool. You did you did get better, but you didn't get better than me. So it's like, it ain't like the fucking rematch is going to change anything. I haven't seen a re-performance since that battle with me that make me feel like, oh, that could beat me. Hmm. I haven't seen one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't seen one. 
He, he did his thing with Easy. Him and Easy was a dope battle. That shit was dope. You know what I mean? Some, but, some people got him beating Rum Nitty, though. Yeah, but I watched that. I mean, it's it's like this with Rum Nitty. Like, Rum Nitty's the alien. Ball for ball, we probably can't even count on two fingers that of niggas that could keep up with him. Ball for ball. But this is battle rap, and we talk about attack, right? So, mm. why was I able to beat Rum Nitty? Because I wasn't. I thought Rum Nitty was gonna beat you, John. I ain't gonna hold yeah, you. But I, I wasn't just about to go in there and go ball for ball with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. so with Reed, Reed ain't gonna go ball for ball with him. Reed gonna present a conversation. I don't think Reed beat Rum Nitty, by the way. I don't. But mm. I get why people saying that. I get it because it was closer to what niggas thought it was going to be. Gotcha. And that's how battle rap is. If the battle, I don't like that though. I don't like that. I hate that kind of thinking. But, but it is what it is. Right. That, that's that's supposed to make niggas turn up. You know what? I you know what? I'm about to kill everything. Now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I think that's what it was because I watched that battle. Rum Nitty was wilding. I ain't gonna lie. Rum Nitty was wilding, but niggas wasn't expecting much from we Reed, and Reed showed up. Um. Mm. But that's what's up. A lot of people had Reed beating Rum Nitty. A lot of people had me beating Rum Nitty. What's next? Yeah. Who else what? they had Reed beating Chess? Oh. Who else they had Reed? Wow. Beating? I know he battled Surf. He battled Surf. Debatable. I think Rosenberg. Also, he battled Rosenberg. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He battled. Uh, he battled. He beat Ill Will. Reed did? Debatable. It's debatable, but some people got Reed. And Where did he Ill Will at? RBE. I'm saying, what what event was that? Was that, was that a straight uh, two? I, I, it wasn't a max out. I don't, I, I don't think it was a max out, was it? I don't remember, though. It might have been a straight two. It. Yeah, it might have been straight two. It, it might have been stuff like that. It, it, when Rosenberg beat Ill Will, too. Yeah. So, so you would Ill rematch Will, him, no? Why, why, why would you rematch the battle if you, feel, if you got a, a, a 30 on him? Because he feel like it'll be different now. Uh, he feel like it'll be different now. The only way you have a chance... Is if it's in Philly. And I feel good beating Reed in Philly. I ain't gonna lie. I feel real good. Like, yo, shut up with this. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, hell yeah. Like I so I don't know. These niggas trying to get me to throw a bullpen event in Philly to book why would I do all that? Why am I doing all that for a rematch this nigga need? I'm not the nigga say, Oh, all right, well, we'll come to Yonkers or Atlanta. Okay, that's pointless. You're definitely not beating me there. Like, I don't like why would I even and John, you right. It was straight to the volume part two. You right. You right. Yeah, ill will don't care about straight to it, man. That's just that's that's that's, that's just bottom line. We don't do excuses though. We don't do excuses. Mm -hmm. we don't do excuses, but you know, I don't know. If you play, if you play LeBron one on one and he shoot all half court shots, right? You know right. what I'm saying? And you beat mm -hmm. him while he's shooting all half court shots. It's like you know what I mean. Like it's I had ill will be the three dollars. Let me just throw it. I had ill will be the three dollars, but. Some people oh, fight with that. They say we won that battle. I, I don't remember this. that battle. I don't remember that yeah, battle. Yeah. I, I don't even know if I saw it, to be real. I'm just saying, anytime when, when it's like that, it's mm -hmm. because the battles are closer than niggas expecting them to be. That, it ain't no other way around that. When you think of Ill Will and you compare his greatest performances to the best you've seen from Reed lately, you don't think fucking this battle is about to be close. Right, right. Well, you probably... If, the, 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 the memorable thing about that battle is Gritty's ad libs. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, you said you don't see it though. Gritty's ad libs through the whole battle was kind of wild. Yeah. Wild OD, but that's a different story for a different day. John, last question here, man. Did you watch Born Legacy 13? I did. Thoughts? Was it bad? Like everybody making it, make it out to see John? Was it that bad to you? It, it, no, no, no. I, I think people had, they, they prejudged it for one. So mm -hmm. it was gonna have to go above and beyond to be good, um, and then and then the loss of the Mike P and Jack Boy battle it, mm -hmm. it took its thing. It just I think with this, it's like it just feels like like now more than ever that they forcing this this the, the newer talent on us. I, it feels like now more than ever because. They not really proving nothing. Like, and what I mean by that is they not whack. The niggas is good. You know what I mean? But y'all not proving nothing. Oh, yeah, what are y'all just showing us that y'all good? We know y'all good because y'all here. Like, what else though? 
Mm-hmm. Like, y'all not proving that y'all belong because y'all up there and y'all doing good for three rounds if niggas is, if niggas is clearly outclassing y'all. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I just think, you know, the process is a little, it's a little rushed, but um, I thought Clutch and Chilla Jones was dope. I, 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 I like the conversation between Nun Nun and Real Deal. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I like the angles. I was very surprised with, um, with Nun Nun. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so Flair Soul and Danny was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we that that's that it was only four battles, right? Right, four battles. Mike 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 so D and Jack Boy was supposed to be on the card, but that didn't happen, obviously. Right. So so we got three three round battles. Right. That was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Right? None right. of the real deal was pretty dope. Yeah. Clutch and Chilla Jones was pretty dope. Um and and so Flair Soul and Danny was pretty dope. But John, I see a lot of people down. Or none, none of the real deal battles. Some people say they didn't like the battle. I was kind of shocked. I didn't think it was that bad. Like people make it out to, make it out to be. I think it was just a weird vibe. Like I don't know. Maybe niggas don't want to state the obvious. You got two white battlers battling on, on a black. Yeah, right. and they having white conversations at that. Who's more whiter than the other person? Who's like you know what I mean? So the just, teacher versus the truck driver. Like, yeah, yeah, it was just yeah, like it was a little weird, but weird. I liked it though because it, it made more of a conversation. I liked the angles. I liked the for the reason that people probably didn't like the battle is the reasons I did like it. Mm. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, Do you have Max number? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> But is that important if you don't, if you don't have Smack's number? What does that mean? What does that nothing. really mean? It means absolutely nothing. Smack is not calling niggas like yo. What you want in your contract? Yo, how, how much you want? Yo, who you want to battle next? And with all this other shit, Smack not. It's not important to have that man number. It's not. So that's why I'm like. Should, it, should the real question be? Does anyone got Chico's number? Should that be the question? <laughs> right. Who knows Chico? Like I don't even know how Chico looks like. I don't and think. The, I ain't gonna lie. The crazy thing having Chico number means nothing either because he's not picking up for none of you niggas. So if you got his number, that don't mean shit. It's about right. who talks to Chico. That's that's the question. Who talks to Chico? If you don't talk to Chico. It's like, ah, man. oh man, that's not that's not a flex. Like I got smack number, but that's why I'm like, yo, that don't, like, no, I, I was, I ain't really like that part. Okay, I ain't really like that part. Like, uh, smack, you don't even, I don't even have your number. What is like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't know, man. What do niggas yeah. think smack supposed to do? Like, I don't know, I don't mm-hmm. know. In your heart of hearts, do you think smack caught feelings about that? Um, I mean, I would. Really? Yeah, I would. So as a, hold on. As a league owner for bullpen, mm-hmm. if low so bad news, where well, these guys came at you like that? Clone? Yeah, I mean, it, it just depends on, on what, like, people have. Like, 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 um, like Riggs. Riggs dissed me on fate. Mm. Battle Flacco. And to me, it was just, it was just baffling to me because I'm looking at it like, okay, well, I, I'm giving you an opportunity on the biggest stage you've ever been on, mm-hmm. in front of the most people you've ever been in front of, and you're getting paid more than you're getting paid anywhere else right now. Why would you take that opportunity to diss the person that gave you the opportunity? Mm-hmm. It's almost like a spit in the face or, you know what I mean? Uh, but it, it's battle rap, so they like it's like a fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, all right, so... Why why would I go out my way to continue to do it? You know what I mean? So why would I continue to give up until you know what that's gonna show? That's gonna show that once you diss me, <laughs> everybody else gonna feel like if they get they, they get another opportunity, let's diss this nigga. Now it starts a whole trend of let's diss this nigga. Like B dot nah, was first though. B dot was the first one really that yeah. impacted. And it just but, but yeah, but look at look at what B dot was saying though. Mm. B dot wasn't like he he didn't sound like like heartbroken because at that time he didn't even have no relationship with Smack like that. So Smack Smack didn't give him no big opportunities at uh, you know what I mean all mm. that shit came later. With none none, it's like he's basically saying like yo you ain't looking out for me you ain't do this for me you ain't do that for me. But when you look at who none none has battled, he has plenty of, he had plenty of opportunities. So it's like you blaming Smack for where you think 
um, you should be. And I just feel like as a league owner, that's not fair because we give a lot of battles the same opportunities. Y'all sharing stages with the same battlers. Y'all standing in front of these same battlers. Y'all just not capitalizing as much as these other battlers are capitalizing off of. Mm. And, and I get it with the whole, oh, this person could choke and still get better opportunities, but I'll come and give you this and that. It's You're still not understanding marketability. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, people couldn't. That, them days of competition and battle rap is long gone, man. <laughs> you got to sell a fight, man. It, yeah. I mean, it's, it's fucked up. But it's real. Them yeah, it's real. It's real. The days is gone, man. You you have to be relevant some way, somehow. And none, none, you relevant when we see you on the card. It's all oh, that's dope. You know what I mean? But when 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 we don't see none, none, I don't see nobody asking for them. Good and that's point. not a knock to none, because I like none, none. None, none is nice, man. I rock yeah. with none, none. He's yeah, nice. I was talking my shit on Twitter about him asking, having smack number. I didn't want that to take away from what he did because I liked his performance. You know what I'm saying? I liked his, I liked his, I fuck with none, none. You know what I mean? I'm just, you know, I'm just being realistic, man. Right. Like, look at certain shit a different way. You know, they have a better understanding. I think, you know, niggas will look back in a couple years and be like, all right, I get it now. Last question, John. Was people are also um, getting that Chiller Jones about his third round against Clutch? Yeah, that's like, Niggas just saying anything, man. Like I, like they wanna, they wanna. Is it a pick and choose thing with the coach? You pick and choose with. Of it's, course. With this is a double. This is the most double standard culture there is, man. And 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 he didn't. He didn't diss the day. Right. He did not diss. He took an angle to where he's saying you did this. I can't mm -hmm. believe you went as far as to use. You know what I mean? The tragedy that happened in your life. You know what I mean? My condolences is the clutch. Mm. You took that and you used that as an angle to win. Mm. And then within this angle, you basically contradicting yourself. You talking about you can't hear a bar about a seatbelt. You can't hear a bar about I'm strapped in because of it. So what Chilla did was, which is genius, some shit I would have did, you take that and make a whole situation out of it. Like, all right, you contradicting yourself. Okay, so let me put myself in your shoes. Let's just say I got this car. Let's just say my girlfriend died and I'm a car salesman. You know what I'm saying? So that, that, that's his angle. He not saying, yo, your girl died in this, you doing that. He was. He said him, if you listen to what he's saying. Right. I got a 2016 green something, something, something. My girlfriend died. So it's like, you know what I mean? He's, he's basically putting himself in his shoes. Like, if like this is this is what you're trying to say. Like mm. it made my heart so cold. But this model got heated seats. That shit was fire, man. I I think niggas is just trying to use that to take away from that man when trying to right. clutch. Like that shit was fire. He, he ain't disrespect the dead at all, man. All right. Uh promote the Mecca car for me, please. Put wrapping up here, please. Yeah, the Mecca, man, going down July 30th. In Yonkers is going down. John John Don versus J Mills. I'm gonna kick his ass. Mm. Um Philly Hayes versus Cortez. Lady Caution versus Bonnie Goddard. Mm -hmm. versus Cash Flow Rizzy. It's crazy. And then we got CNG Ty um, versus Quan the Rebel. Mm -hmm. And Taj Millie versus Wavington. And we got the next Ty Bull tournament. So it's lit, man. It's a full show, man. I, I, I'm telling you, it's going to be a movie. I promise you, it's going to be a movie. Three. Have you been writing yet, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. Started. Started. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. John, I appreciate you, my brother. You're ready. Already.